I'm Jessica Gaddithin. This is your Thursday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with weather. Well, we're not going to see a whole lot of storm activity over the next couple of days. Isolated storms will be possible over the mountains for tomorrow. Heading into the weekend, we may see a little more moisture creep in from the east. It's not going to be a deep monsoon flow type of thing, but at least we could get a few showers generated over the mountains. And a couple of those forming, especially over the east mountains, could creep into the Albuquerque area to give us a spot shower as well. All four Democrats on Albuquerque City Council now say the probe by the city's independent review officer into a car crash involving the public safety director's wife is not enough. The story broke Monday that Darren White went to the scene of the minor crash last week and took his wife away in his car for treatment at an urgent care. He says he did nothing wrong. Mayor R.J. Berry ordered the city's independent review officer, Judge William Deaton, to handle the probe. But four city councilors want someone with no ties to the city, perhaps from even out of the state. The call for further investigation comes on the heels of questions about how White acted at the scene and as to why his wife Kathleen was not tested for drugs, even though the officer on scene believed she was impaired. A council committee will meet tomorrow to discuss hiring an outside firm. Albuquerque City officials announced late this afternoon that needles that got into the hands of preschoolers have tested negative for HIV and hepatitis B and C. The needles were discovered yesterday in a classroom inside Governor Bent Elementary near Montgomery and San Mateo. Officials say four kids in a city-run summer program were pricked after finding the needles in a donation box filled with items for kids to play doctor. Only two syringes were found and tested by the State Department of Health. Officials believe the needles had never been used. The city is paying to have the kids who were stuck checked out by a doctor. Join us for more news tonight at 10.